Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Classic Stainless Steel 15-piece knife set. These are beautifully designed. I love these knives. They're all stainless steel. I love them because the handle design, it's really easy to grip, and I love that it has a brush stainless finish. I think it's really, really a great look for any kitchen. The other thing that's nice about it too, it has a, it's got a really nice grip to it, and they're not really heavy. They're a nice light knife, and I like that in the kitchen. This is your chef's knife. This will be the one that you probably use the most. Um, I have a tendency to per prefer smaller knives. Um, this is actually a nice utility knife. It's serrated. So um, if you're going to be, let's say, cutting through something like an orange, you give it a little nice grip on it. Your next item here is a paring knife. Very, very useful. I like small knives like that. I find them to be easy to handle. This is a, called a bird's beak knife. It's great for doing specialty cuts. Next, here's your um, utility scissors. These are great for opening any kind of um, hard plastic packaging, or even sometimes you know when um, you get those bags from the grocery store, they're really hard to open. That's really great for that. This is your honing steel. This is our sharpening steel. Um, this is really important to use in conjunction with your knives so that you keep them properly maintained. This is, um, you basically hold your knife at a 20 to 22 degree angle and you pull it from the heel to the tip and you do that um, on both sides. And use firm pressure, firm even pressure is really important. The other thing that you need to do is, um, some people like to do this before they use the knives, but if you do that, make sure you clean them first because you will get residue from sharpening. Or the other thing that you can do is after you're done using them, sharpen them, um, clean them, and then return them to the knife block. That's the easiest way to um, make sure that you always have your knives properly maintained. Um, next, we have this Arsantuco, which is great for cutting cheese. It has a little dimpled surface. Some people call it undulating. This aids in making sure that um, anything that's really sticky does not stick to the knife when you're prepping food. And then um, next you have your slicing knife. This is really important for things like um, cutting and preparing raw meats or even slicing and serving cooked meats. Items like pork loin, chicken, steak, anything that you would cut um, and before you serve it to your guests or even for yourself and your family. So lastly in the front here you have these beautifully designed stainless steel steak knives. I love these because they have a really nice shape to them and the other thing is they're really nice and thin and interesting to look at. It's great to have those um, store right in the base of your knife block. I really prefer using a knife block because it keeps everything very compact, right at hand, especially when you're prepping at your kitchen countertop. The other thing that's really great is that these are beautifully designed, they're easy to maintain, and they work amazingly well, especially when you're going to do things like slice up an orange. I like to do this um, and make little wedges. It couldn't be easier. And there you have it, the Cuisinart Classic Knife Set.